At the end of this video, you will have everything you need in order to bring your stream to the next level so you get more engagement way out of your stream. If you want to learn more about streaming, the software, technology, but also the nutrition behind it, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Hi hey guys, and thank you for being here. My name is Luke and I have a bachelor's degree in human nutrition and my whole concept is to leverage nutrition so you get more out of your stream, you're more focused, you're more alert so you can be better at your games and just overall have a better stream. If you want more tips and tricks about nutrition and software, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I upload about three times a week little tips that can help you with your stream. When it comes to planning your stream, I believe that there are two major points you have to take into consideration. The first one being how to keep your audience engaged and entertained the whole duration of your stream. And the second one being the nutrition side, how can you stay focused and active during your whole stream? Let's start with the first point, how to keep your audience engaged. It is really important, especially when you're starting out as a streamer, that you do not have any like dead silence in your stream. A good rule of thumb is to never have more than 10 to 15 seconds of just pure silence. So let's talk about how you can avoid silence. One way to always have something to talk about is before your stream, Pick a general topic, nothing too specific because you don't want to run out of questions, but a general topic to talk about during your stream that you can throw in there and pick up if there's ever dead silence. Also make sure that the topic is not something that you just state, but more of a conversation. So ask follow up questions with your audience. An example from my case would be nutrition. One way to keep your audience happy and don't have any dead silence in your stream is by just having a playlist of music run in your background. You can even go as far and enable song requests with certain bots, for example, mix it up, but so that your audience and your viewers can request their own songs that they want to listen to. Mix it up bot is also a great tool to allow you to incorporate little mini games like a spinning wheel or something, beach ball into your stream so that your viewers can also have little games to engage in. If you're completely new and you're just starting out and you don't know how to set up a bot yet, how to set up mini games or a song request, one way to do it is to play with friends. If you're playing with friends, there's always a conversation going on between you and the people you play with. So even you're not directly talking to your audience or to your viewers the whole time, there's never going to be that silence. Playing with friends is also a good way to get some funny moments going and some laughs for you and your viewer. The last tool I want to mention on how to keep your audience engaged is stream loot. Stream loot is a way for your audience to make you do certain challenges. How stream loots works is you pick a deck of cards and it's a virtual deck of cards where certain challenges are on. Now your audience can go and purchase those cards and then redeem them in your stream to make you do those challenges. Some example challenges are play with your headset off and your headset around. The audience is picking your new character in the game. Play with one hand, play blindfolded, and so on, you get the idea. If you want to learn more about stream loots, I do have a link down in the description below. Before we get started with the second part of the video, nutrition, I do have a question for you. Let me know in the comments below if you ever felt super tired, a lack of energy, or just like a steep drop in motivation during your stream. Let's talk about proper nutrition for your stream. I broke this down into a pre-stream meal, a mid-stream meal, and a post-stream meal. What goes without saying, is always stay hydrated. So make sure you're hydrated throughout the day. Make sure you have something to drink available while you stream. Let's start with our pre-stream meal. My recommendation is that you eat 30 to 60 minutes for your stream. That will give you enough time to prepare the food, not rush, and have the food settle down in your stomach for a little while. If you're planning to stream for a really long time, six, maybe 12 hours even, I would recommend a full meal before your stream. This meal should be high in protein, relatively high in carbohydrates, medium fat, and high in fiber. The protein and the fiber in your meal will make sure that the energy is released gradually throughout the time and you don't get a spike in your blood sugar, get this really high, and then you come crashing down. A really quick example for that would be scrambled eggs, oatmeal with some peanut butter in it. If you're streaming for longer than six hours, I would probably recommend that you have some kind of snack on hand during your stream. This snack is ideally something that you do not have to prepare, that is ready to eat already, and that you can snack on 
slowly and quietly during your stream. The only recommendation I have for your midstream is that you stay away from just simple sugars. Simple sugars will have your blood sugar go through the roof and you will be super energetic, you will be focused and really hyper and then you just come crashing down. You want a snack that will give you energy over a longer period of time and then the energy will also decrease over a longer period of time. A good example for that would be a protein bar, a piece of fruit because it does have fiber in it, or some almonds. You can also combine all these three to one snack. Let's talk about your post stream meal. Quick and easy, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to eat after your stream is up to you. If you're streaming for longer than 12 hours, I would recommend to have a meal already planned out and ready to go for once you're done so you can go eat and relax. I hope that now you are aware of what nutrition can actually do for you during your stream. And if you want to know more and more in depth about nutrition, follow me on Instagram where I do share more tips and tricks about nutrition. If you are completely new to streaming or you're just starting out, you might want to check out my video on how to grow your first 5 to 10 viewers consistently and to establish this like consistent viewer base so you can rank higher in your game category. As always, if you liked the video, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, share the video with your friends. You guys have a good day. Hello.